Fishers of Men by Amanda Pizzolatto. One Sunday, the priest talked about a trip to Galilee. He and a few other priests went to the Sea of Galilee and found an interesting tourist site. Apparently, an ancient fishing boat had been found preserved at the bottom of the sea, and a copy was made. So, several times a day, people could be taken out on the boat and see how they worked back in the days of Jesus. The priest got to talking to one guy who had been on the boat multiple times. He told him that of the hundred times he had seen them lower the net, they only ever caught one fish. The priest ties it into the gospel, especially Matthew chapter 4, verse 19, in which Jesus tells Peter and the others, I will make you fishers of men. Fishing, in general, is hard, even with just a line instead of a net. So fishing for men? If we know anything about our fallen human nature, we should know that that will be particularly hard. But then the priest mentioned that the fishers caught the huge load when Jesus tells them to lower their nets yet again. So his lesson wasn't that if we keep trying, we will succeed. It was that they caught as many as they did only when Jesus came into the picture. We shouldn't stop trying to be sure, but we can't say it's mostly our efforts when we do catch a large load. Though it is easy to think so, especially after so many tries are met with disappointing results, then there are two other things. The devil is also fishing, and it's possible God wants us to use a certain net or bait. It can be said there are several types of nets or bait besides the Bible, including music, story, art, tech, or even science. God gives us each talents and passions to be used in His honor and for His glory, as well as a net to bring others into the fold, if done right. Many people have to hone their skills for years before becoming really good, and even then they can still grow. And just like there is more than one way to teach, there is more than one way to spark a relationship between God and a soul. He knows how to speak every language. We just must be willing to listen. But once we listen, we can turn around and help God in getting others to listen, or to fish for them. Sometimes we are indeed using the wrong net or bait and must change them in order to be not only following God's will for our lives, but also to be able to get that large catch that he will bring in when it's time. The point of us continuing to throw out that net is to show our trust in the Lord and to provide an example to others. When most people think of evangelism, most do think of the people going door to door, asking if you've heard of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But some evangelize through their kindness or their acts of charity. In one particular instance, King Alphonsus of Leon and Galicia carried a rosary everywhere with him to spread honor to the Blessed Virgin Mary and to remind people to pray. It worked, and it even gave King Alphonsus more time to become a better man and to bring in more people. This then must be what is meant by there are many ways to God. For while God will use whatever means at his disposal, not just technically all of them, to call us to him, and to help enrich a relationship with him, there is but one actual path to him, and that is through Jesus Christ and his bride of the church. So go, take your nets, and practice until you get that big catch. For becoming a child of God turns us into fishers of men, and fishing isn't easy.